Hello friends, let's learn about the business objects design studio 1.6. In this video series, I will be going to cover about the design studio 1.6 uh, tutorial with their hands on experience as well. So I will be covering more in a detail uh, step by step tutorial for the one uh, design studio 1.6. So design studio is one of the tool from SAP which which is which enables the application designers to create analysis application and dashboards which are based on SAP NetWeaver, SAP BW and then SAP Universes and also SAP HANA. So and this uh, dashboard or analysis applications can be run on browsers and mobile devices as well so which, which is a very powerful tool uh, in SAP so I'll be going to cover the detail uh, sessions one by one on this and in next few days I'll be finishing this uh, tutorial so uh, please keep watching this uh, series uh, now I'll show you means what I'll going to cover uh, in this video series so these are the course contents which I am uh, supposed to take uh, next coming session. So the first one is positioning and architecture. What is the position and architecture of the design studio as of from SAP? What is uh, tool position and then architecture, how, overall architecture, how it is uh, deployable and what all the concepts related to the uh, design studio. And then second unit, I'll be going to cover about the create script free applications. So this is uh, just a visa type applications which we can create means based on the components available in design studio. So there are various components available. So that I will going to cover in this means I will, I will show you means how we can create a first application, uh, how, I, how we can use analysis components, then container components and how we can change the look and feel as well. Uh, there are data bound component properties which I'll be uh, showing is how to use it. Then we can uh, learn about highly formatted tables uh, using the scorecard components. Then uh, there is an interoperability between BI clients like business objects and then uh, uh, Lumira like that. So how we can um, learn that. So that I'll going to uh, teach you. Then unit three will be about the layout of the applications means what are the layout standard and custom created template templates. There are standard templates available how we can use it and how we can create a custom uh, templates as well. Then we'll learn about the themes and embedded CSS editor means uh, CSS is one more uh, powerful design uh, technique which we can use in this uh, design studio so to enhance our look and feel of the applications uh, dashboards then unit 4 will be using uh, scripting techniques how we can create uh, advanced applications using scripting techniques so the scripting is related to the javascript and how we can use javascript so those who are familiar with the javascript they will better understand this uh, so i will show you means how we can use the script editor uh, how i can uh, define means navigation be aware of the basic components with uh, scripting then uh, variables uh, there are local and global variables in script function that we can use how we can read the data in a script then uh, using global scripting vari uh, variables that uh, that is also we'll go see how we can use then there are script objects which are global and uh, formatted functions various functions available uh, and the last one means we'll see about the scripting scenarios means in which uh, scenarios we should use scripting so this is about uh, unit 4 and the last one is optimized for mobile devices means whatever the contents uh, or whatever the applications analysis applications we are going to create so how we can optimize it for mobile devices like ios or android like that so in that means how we can access applications on mobile devices and uh, how we can optimize applications for mobile devices so this is a very famous uh, thing which we uh, uh, which in demand uh, today means everyone uses mobiles and it is very powerful means if someone means if i can see the latest or live insight from from the dashboard in the mobile uh, so that will be a great uh, thing so all this i'll be going to cover about uh, uh, this design studio in this tutorial so uh, so i will be uh, finishing uh, uh, 
this tutorial in next 15 days so and i'll be going to cover about the practical sessions as well on this so uh, i hope you uh, you will uh, watch this series and um, keep watching my series if you like my videos then please uh, like my videos and if you haven't subscribed yet then please subscribe to my uh, channel so that you will get to know um, about my next video that is coming thank you for watching